Benny. Testing. Yeah, testing. Testing, one, two, three. New GoPro media mods can installed. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear Benny? Better yet, can you hear the birds? Oh yeah, they probably can hear the birds. Hopefully. I got a uh, new media mod for my GoPro 8. I have an 8. Looking forward to seeing what the media mod does for the audio. I know a lot of times you guys can't hear Benny what he says, which is a shame because he says a lot of good things. Oh yeah? You gotta just talk regular from there, bud. I wanna see what it sounds like. What does it sound like? Ask me a question, I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just putting I'm, you in the spotlight. Uh, I'm plugging in this cord into the outlet. <laughs> Let me know. What do you guys think about the audio? But anyway, we're, we're here. We're back. We're back here. <laughs> we got just a little bit veneer left, bro. We got one, two, three cuts to make. This side we finished yesterday, which if you saw the video, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. If you haven't, and you're a new viewer, make sure you check that out. Today, we're putting the cap on. This is actually a step that you would use if building stairs. But we're gonna cut it down into strips that we need and rock face them. What I mean by rock face is create a natural uh, textured face on the front of the granite. Because when you cut it smooth, you have to actually rock face it and give it, give it the natural texture. And it's something that if you can learn how to do, it's a, it's a valuable thing to know that you can do it on site and you don't have to special order anything and pay um, really expensive prices. You can do it yourself. This is a six foot tread, but what I'm going to do is cut it in half. I'm going to make two three foot pieces and that's what we're going to cut our strips from in rock face. And the benefit of doing that is the piece is not as long and it's less likely to crack when you're using your hammer and your chisel. And there's our half mark. Let's cut it. I need some water on this one, Benny. So this front is already rock faced and we're just going to be able to cut that right off. But before we cut it off, we want to rock face the back. Alright, you just want a nice three pound hammer, it doesn't matter the style. And we got our not in such great shape. I could be taking care of it better, but it's a Trowen Holden or Trowen Holden, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, forward slanted carbide chisel. It's one inch wide and that's designed for rock facing. So, there's our line. And that's what we gotta follow with our chisel. If you do not have a carbide chisel, something like this, rock facing this kind of stone is just not gonna, not gonna work, Benny. If you grab a Home Depot chisel or something, not gonna work. This is a, this is a $90 chisel and they have some that are a lot more expensive. But you, you absolutely need it on jobs like this. That's what you want to look out for. I didn't get fully about like fully down to halfway. And a uh, big reason was I didn't hit it hard enough. And the angle was slightly tilted back too much. So when that happens, you want to kind of fix that on the next one. You want to straighten your chisel out a little bit and hit it harder to be able to get a little bit deeper. You want to get at least halfway through it. 
Okay, so I just wanted to show you in this video how we were rock facing, but I actually made a video. You might have already seen it if you're a return viewer, but if you're a new viewer and you want to know a little bit more about this rock facing uh, process, I guess, check out the, the video before this one that I uploaded. I have a link in the description below with it as well. It just goes into a little more detail on how we rock face these granite pieces like this. Alright guys, veneer is done. So we always seal the sides and the top with our mortar we're using. Prevent as much water from going behind the veneer as possible. So this is all ready for cap. Pavers have arrived for the patio. We got a delivery, there's six pallets, five pallets of regular pavers, one pallet of border. It's gonna be about a 600, uh, 620 square foot patio. Got the delivery guy coming with the pavers to set them all down right here in place for us. What do you think, Benny? Ready. Nice. Get your knife, Benny. We gotta open up this Genest pallet. Genest, baby. My new favorite pavers around. My new favorite pavers, Benny. This is the border. Oh yeah. It's mint. Good. Oh, it's the Henderson pallet, Benny. Here is the regular pavers. Oh yeah, Benny. Yeah. I love these pavers. I absolutely love them. The biggest thing I like about them are the joint lines. Most pavers, they're poured with straight joint lines. These ones have a nice wavy line to give it a lot more of a natural look. What these Eastern Bay pavers are, is actually the same size as the small piece in this three pattern and that's going to be the contrast it's a really nice contrast hey was it here benny here. this is the stuff i get excited about what do you like to shop for stone and pavers concrete yeah different shapes of concrete <laughs> Colors, you know, you know, like that, and that, 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 that. It's that SpongeBob episode. What are they talking about? I can't remember. Na 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 na. Can't remember. Me neither. I hope they can hear you with that medium on, dude. This thing's goofy looking now. I don't think it's goofy looking. It looks professional, I guess, right? It's top notch. I'm going to have to start looking into all the different things I can add on to it, dude. The GoPro's just going to be like... Got one of those big fuzzy mics in. <laughs> yeah, dude. With like the feathers on, on it. Turn it into like one of those first um, TV TV show cameras, dude. <laughs> 16 inches from front to <laughs> yeah. back, dude. <laughs> it's got a thing on top lens. of it. Oh, man. Now it's time to put the granite cap on. I know I keep saying it, but it's time. This is our sill piece right here this is the one that is ready to go I have to rock face another one and I should be able to get two pieces out of that hopefully we are going to be adhering these on with concrete adhesive this one is made by SRW products retaining walls pavers concrete natural stone fire pits so there's that Down to the talking gun. Mm. See it angled? Yep, that's good. It's definitely, definitely got a nice pitch on it. 
shimmy side to side. Wow, that's a nice finished look, dude, huh? Mm -hmm. We got our lines marked. The middle is going to be waste. We have to cut these two, and then we have two full pieces. Probably get us a little bit past the hose right there. Dude, look at the thing you put on top of that over there. I gotta show these people. Yeah, so every time me and Ben have some extra mortar, we just screw around. Benny, nice little, uh, nice cross, bud. Yeah, a little finishing top piece. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. You're an artist. <laughs> Yep, to be. Yeah. You gone? Yep, it goes Jerry Seinfeld. All right, here's our two pieces. Those pieces are good. We're just letting them dry up so that the, the glue is going to adhere better. And while we wait for that, I'm going to start rock facing another side over here so we can get another cut. guys did a few things off camera we got three pieces in and set and we got our hand tools here just holding them in as they set overnight we've got this one cut and ready to go in we're just letting it dry a little bit so we can put our glue and set it this next one's gonna land about here and we got to make a little cut if this one goes okay it might actually end up being the last one that we have to make so that's what I'm hoping for I'm hoping that it goes okay Benny, how's it look on my head, bud, with the mod? Do I look like a freaking serious alien right now, dude? You look like a Navy SEAL or something. I gotta see if I can, like, like look at myself. Goggles on it. wonder if I'll get, like, a... Wow, dude, with the safety glasses, dude, I look pretty friggin' whacked up. I think that's all we're gonna need. We'll be able to get our two cuts out of this one. So what he's doing is marking our, our depth, which is two and a half inches. So we're gonna be cutting two strips, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use both of those pieces for our cuts. There's gonna be a cut on this side, and there's gonna be a cut on this side. We're just putting a nice, nice row of glue here for the uh, piece to sink right into and sit on. So 
So we're making sure the back is full. Then we're putting just a small bead on top of the veneer. This adhesive is extremely strong. If any of you guys out there have used it, you know it's sometimes stronger than mortar, especially in an application like this. But it's always best to make sure your two surfaces are nice and dry. It does still adhere when it's wet, but it adheres better when it's dry. And if you can see our glue, I'm not sure if you can, but it's pressed down good. We got a good bond here. If you like, if you want, you can kind of like slide it left and right, settle it in. But that's it. So it just needs to needs to set into the glue. This one's actually probably one of the firmest. I'm so, I'm gonna still put something here to hold it, but it actually doesn't even really need it. That one's sat nice, Benny. Oh, it's strong. So unfortunately, my GoPro batteries ran out of juice right about here, and I couldn't film us finishing the caps. But here's the end result. Obviously this is with some pavers laid, but I wanted to give you an idea of how they mesh in or match with the pavers. These are all wet right now in this clip, but when they dry, they match just as good. This stone veneer was actually an add-on to the job. We were here just to do a patio and a set of steps. But upon pulling the old porch down, the customers saw that the foundation wall just really didn't look too good. So after going back and forth on a few different options on how we could cover it up, like stucco was, was being one of the options, um, this is where we landed. The stone veneer panels and the granite cap to act as a sill in between the stone veneer and the house. But it came out excellent. Very happy with the results. So if you're a new viewer and you wanted to see how we got to where we are on this project, check out the playlist. It's in a link in the description below. And you can see all these videos from the backfill to the stone veneer. I did a little video of rock facing the uh, blue mist granite, like I said earlier. If you want to check that out and get a little more info on, on what rock facing is all about. But here's the next part of this project, building these concrete block. Uh, steps to go into the side of the house. It was actually a dryer vent that we had to root through it and that's something that I do not typically run into but we made it made it work and we figured it out so if you want to see that video that'll be the next one us building those steps. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see what's to come on this project make sure you hit that like and subscribe and be notified when I upload but as always until the next video guys God bless and peace.